Well, hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the second week of October, which means the second installment of this October series. So, again, if you weren't here for last week, we're doing the same dress in a four different themes. So last week I made a pumpkin dress and I did some fun makeup with it. And this week we're going to do another version of the dress. So let me show you that. So it's going to be a candy corn inspired dress. I was just trying to think of like classic Halloween things and candy corn popped into my mind. And so I thought it'd be cute to have like the little layers of candy corn color in a cute little dress. Also, look at my spoopy mug. Woo! So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing this week. Um, I'm probably, so I am still gonna show the process of all of the making of like the bodice and whatnot, just in case anybody missed it from last week and doesn't wanna go back to the other videos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, sorry if that gets a little tedious, but I do have a cute little makeup section in the end, so it'll change it up just a little bit. So yeah, the bodice construction is going to be the same as last week. I'm going to include the elastic in the back and whatnot, so all of that's going to be the same. Um, and then for the skirt, this is going to be a, like, tiered skirt, so I'm going to end up having to make, like, Generally, when you make a tiered skirt, you make like a circle and then a bigger circle and then gather it to each other. So that's what it's going to kind of look like. It'll make more sense when I do it later. Um, but that's going to be the variation for this week. I'm still trying to decide on what orange I want to use because I have the orange that I used on the last dress. I still have some of that left. Um, or I also picked up some like brighter orange and I think I'm leaning a little bit towards that. Um... Also in a bed sheet, so this is all just bed sheets. I picked up a yellow bed sheet earlier too, and I always have white bed sheets on hand. So yeah, the first thing I have to do is cut out that material and then throw that bodice together the same way I've been doing it um, for a bit now, and then do the skirt. So I feel like this is gonna be a fairly quick sewing process. I am still planning on using the fabric stiffener on the skirt. Um, personally, I think that just makes it like sit better. So I am likely going to be doing that same process that I did with the other skirt um, and then let that dry and then and then the dress will be done. Um, and then I can move on to makeup after that. So any you do, let's get to it. So after all of the bodice pieces are cut out, you're going to sew the two side bodice pieces to the front bodice piece. Then you're going to take the lining and the outer fabric and sew together just at the top. And then you're just going to take the back two pieces and take the lining and the outer fabric and sew it also just along the top. And then once I drew out my elastic channels, I just sewed those down onto the back and then I fed elastic through each of those channels and then I sewed it down the line to secure the elastics.
Now to put the bodice back and bodice front together, what you're going to do is open up the bodice front and with right sides together, sandwich the back piece inside and sew it down the side. And then do the same to the other side and then once you turn it out, all of your exposed edges will be gone. Now for the sleeve, before you sew anything together, I went ahead and I made my elastic channel on the top and with it, this curve it's a lot easier just to like iron down the channel first before sewing it so that way it gets as clean as you could possibly get it. And then this time before I sewed the sleeve onto the shirt, I did the bottom elastic channel and then I sewed it onto the bodice and then the bodice is done. Now for the skirt, basically what I did is, so the orange is longer than the yellow because that's how candy corn looks, and so I just cut massive rectangles of both the orange and the yellow, but I cut more of the yellow so that it could gather to the orange. Then I sewed each of the panels together to make it a big massive circle. And then before I even sewed the yellow onto anything, I just wanted to get the hem out of the way so I wasn't dealing with a bunch of material while hemming, so I just hemmed the yellow before I ended up gathering it. Then I take my pleating slash gathering foot and then I gather the heck out of both of these materials. Once the yellow is gathered to about the size of the orange, I just go ahead and I sew it straight on to the orange panel. Then once that's done, the orange now gets gathered so that it can fit the top of the bodice. It is then sewn to the top of the bodice. And then the last thing that I wanted to do is I felt this dress looked a little bit plain so I ended up making a little black bow to stick onto the front and then I just I hot glued it straight onto the front of the dress. And now we are ready for the makeup portion. Alright, welcome to the makeup portion. So again, I just have the base makeup on, um, foundation, concealer, whatever, and then I don't have my eyes and lips done. So since this is candy corn themed, I looked up some ideas on Pinterest, so I think I have an idea of what I want to do. And I did order a new palette off of Amazon, um, it's just like fantasy or whatever. <laughs> Because this has like a ton of colors in it, like especially like primary colors. So that's the main reason why I wanted to get this. It's got all of these babies. And I felt that that would be quite useful for these makeup purposes. And then I also ordered a face painting kit. So this way I don't have to keep using like bruising, like special effects makeup. <laughs> So that comes with like a bunch of these colors and some brushes and all that good stuff. Some sparkles. So that is what I'm going to be using for the face painting part. But for now, we're going to focus on some eyeshadow. Okay, so I've seen some like eyeshadows where it's like white in the corner and then I think it was like yellow and then orange. So it's kind of like a mix up of the colors because it usually goes white orange yellow but I feel like the orange would be better on the outside and then like a nice goldy shimmery yellow on the middle so I think we're gonna do that for the eyes and then go on with the face paint so I think we're gonna start with let's start with some orange on the outside so I'm gonna use this one right here we're gonna do some orange on the outside. So 
Again, this is gonna look way better in person than it is on camera, so. Now I'm gonna go the inner corners because I feel like I want the middle to be last. So there is some sparkly white here, but I feel like I'm just gonna go for the regular white. So that's gonna be this one here. Yeah, yeah, that one there. Okay, well, the white's not showing up, so we're just gonna go into yellow. <laughs> we're gonna go in with a bit more orange. Again, better in person than it does on this camera. <laughs> Alright, let's attempt that white again, although it's really not showing up. But light on heavy, maybe. Like, this, this is how much I'm trying to put on, <laughs> it's just like not showing up. Blends into my paper white skin. I put quite a lot of this shimmery in white in the corners and it's really just not coming out. Let me try with my finger. That's a bit better. All right, I think I'm where I am on the eyeshadow. Um, I think I'm just gonna move on to the paint. Okay, so pretty much my plan is to do like, I think one, two, three-ish little candy corns um right there and then probably some white dots around it um so again i do have this face paint kit that is water based so i have to add water like watercolor um and we're gonna we're gonna try this we're gonna see how that works out um hopes are mid to low on how well i'm gonna be able to do this but we're gonna we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. So let's start with the white. And give it a mix. It's really pigmented. Okay. So we're gonna do the white, which is the top of the candy corn. Oh god, I'm nervous. First three down. So I'm not going to do them all straight up. So this one's going to be like up. This one's going to be more diagonal. And this one's going to be pointed this way. So, okay. First, first points down. Let's start on the other side. I think I'm going to try and mimic them. But we'll see. We got the white down. Let's start with the orange next. All right, orange on one side done. This is turning out super cute already. is done. This is going way better than I thought it would. Uh, I really like the face paints compared to the uh, what I was using before, which was like the bruising creams, I would say. 
So this is a lot more effective. All right, and then let's do some yellow. All right, we got little candy corns. Now I think I'm gonna finish this off with little white freckles everywhere. And I think I'll use face paint to do that. I think I'll do that this time. Now I just need to do some mascara and lips. And then this makeup portion is done. Those turned out really cute, okay. And then I think I'm just gonna do a more subtle lip like last time. Um, so just like the Glossier Cherry Bomb.com. Uh, and then the makeup will be about done, and then we can move on to hair. Okay, I think this is our makeup look. I'm very happy with it. So now for the hair. So my hair is curled. So I'm thinking for a bit more of like a fun look, I might bring it just like the top bits back into like two little back ponytails um, and then leave like the rest down. So it just got little, little like ponytails in. So I think that's how I'll keep it. Just those little guys out. Um, I think those are even. That looks good to me. So with that, I guess I will see you all in the final look. Alright, I think this one also turned out super cute. Yeah, so I think the skirt of this one turned out a lot more <laughs> a lot more flowy than the last one. So I really like this. So I didn't end up using the stiffening spray on this one just because I like how much it like flowed. Um but yeah, and I like added the bow because I felt like the top was just a bit plain. So I added the bow, although I am questioning the bow. Like maybe if I did it like a, in a brown, it could be more like a chocolatey to go with like candy. Um so the bow is questionable to me. It is very cute still. 
Um, I just feel like it could have been a little bit better, but it did add more to the top, which, which was what I was like looking for. So I'm not mad about that at all. I really like how the makeup turned out with my little candy corns. Um, yeah, so this just turned out pretty good. I am pretty happy with this week two of this dress. Yeah, the bodice assembly was the same as last week, except for painting, obviously. And then the skirt was a little bit different. So we get some variety with this one. So that's pretty dope. And then the little bow is also a new addition. So yeah, overall, I think this just turned out really cute. Um, and the makeup tied all together. And then I got the curl of hair with it. So it was pretty good. I liked the face paint. The face paint was a nice purchase rather than what I was using before because this won't smudge, whereas the um, like bruising paint uh, does because it's it's not really paint. It's more of like a foundation kind of. So that does smudge. So I like having something that won't smudge if I were to like wear this out. So that's good. Um, <laughs> and then the eyeshadow, um, I wish the white could have turned out but I'm not mad at it. It's just like, it's a nice subtle like yellow and orange. Um, it's not the most pigmented palette that I've had before, um, but it has the colors that I need so it works good enough. And again, without the addition of the petticoat underneath, this would not be nearly as flowy as it is. So I am, that is also just a great purchase. So overall, good purchases have been made for this October. Um, yeah, I've, I've tried it on without the petticoat and it's just like, so good purchase <laughs> yeah and i think like just like the subtle hair works too um yeah so it's pretty good pretty good so be ready for next week where we're gonna be doing yet another style of this dress in a halloweeny theme i am excited about next week because it is a little bit of a change up from what we've done i mean still still the same style of dress um, same process that might get a little tedious, but I am adding a little bit of new element and then after that is the last week after next week and That one I am most anticipating that one is gonna be so fun So get ready for the next two weeks of this October. I'm very excited to do these things and so far, as we are halfway through, I think it's been a success so far. Um, I'm glad that I like the style of dress because otherwise, making it all month would suck. <laughs> so yeah, if you like what I did, then let me know. Let me know what you want to see more of. Um, if there's any details in these dresses that you would like to see more of, let me know because I have two more to make. So if there's like a part that you're not quite getting or that I can explain better, please let me know. And I will try my darndest to do so. So, anywho to do, if you like what I did, go and like and subscribe. Thanks. So, anywho to do, if you like what I did, go and like and subscribe. I post most Saturdays, mostly at noon, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching!